Jackson of Prolific Hands. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick vid. Um, some people uh, have requested some samples from me for my white toner Creole printer. So uh, this is going to be a vid uh, showing you guys how to press that up. Um, I got a couple transfers right here already set up. Uh, going to do a couple of these. Uh, a couple different ones that I already got cut out for you guys just to show you uh, what we're going to be using. So you have your transfer that I've already shipped to you. And uh, in, a, in, a, in that envelope, you should also have uh, one of these, a finishing sheet. Um, this finishing sheet uh, is like a, a silicone sheet. Uh, normally, you would be uh, you would use a T-seal. Uh, T-seal gets you a better feel, but um, the silicone sheet is just as good uh, till you get a T-seal. But for right now, we're just going to be showing you how to, uh, the, sil the silicone sheet uses, how it applies. So, uh, yeah, let's get to that. Okay, so um, I got my heat press set up to 300 degrees. Uh, we're going to be doing a pre-press for about 10 seconds, and then we're going to do an initial press for 30 seconds. Uh, this transfer is going to be a cold peel. It's a two-step process to where you're going to press it the first time, that 30 seconds, let it cool. We're going to peel the transfer, and then we're going to cover it with the finishing sheet, and then we'll press it again for another 30 seconds. So let's get into that. So I have my transfer here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set my pressure. You want to have like a about a medium pressure. So we're going to make sure that our heat press is medium pressure here. All right. And once we get that pre-press, of course, we're going to line that up. All right. And once we line that up, I'm gonna take a Teflon sheet, cover that. All right. All right, now that we got that pressed up, I'm gonna take it to the table here. And we're going to let that cool. And while we're letting that cool, we're going to go ahead and do this next one. So by the time we get done with that, uh, by the time we get done with this one, it should be uh, ready to peel. So we're going to be using a black shirt from Lane 7 Apparel. Press here for about 10 seconds. All right. Make sure I line this up. All right. There we go. Take my Teflon sheet again. Cover that, peel back my collar, and I'm gonna press that for 30 seconds. All right, got that one. I'm gonna move this one. All right. Set that to the side. And we're gonna let those cool. Cause I like, uh, what I like to do with mine, I like to let them get like just about pretty much completely cool, like almost to a cold to the touch before I peel them. That makes them easier to peel off. You can do it like when it's a little bit lukewarm, but the cool when you make it when you wait till it's all the way cold, then uh, it makes it easier to peel off. That's how you know that um, that everything is stuck to the shirt and is everything's gonna be uh, it's, it's gonna come out right because it all just pulls off in one smooth motion. Okay, so now it looks like it's about completely cool to the point where I like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the corners at the end and we're going to slowly just roll it back. And you can see that uh, we actually did it right because it's cool to the touch. And you'll know when you're doing it right because the, the pull will be easier. 
it'll come off one real fluid and you won't have any issue or any tug to the transfer once you pull it up so that's nice and cool um you can see that it'll have like a little glossy finish to it now it does look kind of cool and you can leave it that way if you want but the durability of that it's not going to last long, so that's why we use the silicone finishing sheet so, uh, to give it that, uh, that longer lasting finish. So uh, while we're doing that, we're going to put this on the heat press, and I'll peel back the other one. And then I'll show you this one too, since this one should be completely cool now too, and which it is. So like I said, once again, I'm going to take your corner. And you're gonna put, just roll it back in this uh, slow, even motion and just fill it back. All right, just like that. So now that we got those all squared away, uh, our next thing to do is we're gonna press these again for 30 seconds. Okay, so now that we got our first print uh, back on the heat press, uh, you're going to take your silicone sheet that uh, I, I enclosed in the envelope, provided you with that. Uh, so we're going to take this silicone sheet here, and we're going to cover that. And then we're going to press it again for another 30 seconds. Like I was saying earlier, um, there's two finishing sheets, um, two versions of the silicone paper sheet that you see that, um, that I sent you. And there's also uh, the T seal. The T seal will give it a more textured look, but the um, the silicone sheet will give it a just as, uh, it will give it a good finish too. It's just uh, if you decide that you like the white toner, uh, I advise you get a T seal. That way you can see the difference between the two. Um, it's not a it's not like a a huge difference, but it's still pretty it's still pretty nice to get that texture because it's almost like a screen print looking texture when you do it. So. See if we can bring that a little closer so you can see that here. So uh, it's got that little, it's got a texture to it now. So I'll take this off. So now it's uh, it's in there. It's got like a slight little texture to it. Uh, it's got a better feel. It's got that matte finish to it now. So you won't see that. Uh, you won't see the gloss to it anymore. So, yeah, let's see here. Yeah. There you go. I like it. So, uh, I'm going to do this next one here. All right. I'm going to fix this camera back. All right. So, we got that one down. So, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Pull that back. Put our silicone sheet. Lay it on top. Press that for 30 seconds. Uh, like I said, uh, the the white toner it, it's not necessarily doesn't give you like, uh, it's not exactly a screen print feel, but it does pr feel pretty nice. Um, I've used it several times so far uh, in like a couple large orders. And my customers, they like it so far. I wasn't sure how it was going to be received, but it's nice. It's, uh, it's, it's not going to be something that you build your print shop around off of, but it's good for, like, one-offs and customs. It makes it a lot simpler than trying to use, uh, like, vinyl or, or Adena Pro. But it's just a nice alternative to have. All right, and there we are. So it's got that matte look to it again. And it's the finish just got that. Now with um the thing I noticed with letters, the letters and uh small designs like these, those look more like a screen print uh when you put it on there and it's got that real nice feel to it, like it's really uh nice and settled on top of the fabric. So that's how you uh press up a Creo white toner transfer. Okay, so hopefully you guys were able to successfully print up your white toner transfer. Uh, if not, then let me know. Uh, give me a give me a shout out on Instagram, or you can check the link tree in my bio, and you can email me through my website, 
or if you have my number, just uh, give me a call. Uh, even uh, and if you successfully printed it up, let me know how you uh, what you think about it, how it feels. Uh, because I know the white tone of Creole printer for me, um, it was kind of like a skeptical thing. But I know um, I do a lot of custom transfers, do a lot of one-offs. So it was something that uh, that came in handy for my business. Because I uh, ended up, what I would do is like get transfers from Supercolor or use Nina Project. Really, I ended up using Supercolor because of um, the wide variation of uh, images you're able to use. But at the same time, the downside of that was I'd have a bunch of transfers that I didn't really need anymore because my customers only get like maybe one or two uh, prints of that, uh, of that image. So it was a waste. With the white toner printer, um, I could just print. I could just do that one off and be done with it. So, uh, like I said, it's, it's a, a lot of it's a, it's a, um, some pros and cons to all of it. Uh, when it comes to any type of print method that you're doing, this is no different. Uh, it's not something that you want to build your print shop around, but at the same time, it's something that can come in handy. It just depends on what kind of model that you're trying to build up for your print shop. But uh, yeah, like I said, um, if it's some if it's something that you think you might want to get into, let me know. Uh, I may provide in the creative service where I'm uh, providing you guys with white toner print uh, transfers. So I hadn't done I hadn't really just thought about it, but if I get a lot of re uh, messages received from these samples that I've sent out, then uh, maybe it's something I might get into. If I do, I'll let you guys know. In the meantime, it's Biggie Boy Anthony Jackson uh, from Political Hands. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you were able to uh, print up successfully.